everyone. Where are we? Yeah, no more kingdom. And what are we gonna do? Yeah. And we're gonna be doing the uh, what is it called? Caring for giants, which is the elephant tour. So we got Charlie here, Sophie, my mom, and well, most are coming too. We're all gonna do the giants tour. So it's gonna be super exciting. So we get to see the elephants up close. Here we are. He's got his official. Caring for Giants official. Yeah. Self edit. He's here. He's excited. I think he's more excited just to see Walt Melissa. All right, we're going backstage, guys. We gotta put the phones away. Backside of safari, you're not kidding. This is awesome. Look at it. There they are. I mean, there's like. Look at Mostly hay. Mostly hay. So our elephants, they get a lot of coastal grass. They'll get some yeah. alfalfa, but mostly coastal hay. Depends on the elephant. So our youngest will do anywhere from like 80 to 120. The, our biggest elephant will do upwards of 300. So that's Mac, he's 13,000 pounds and 41 years old. Uh, so I'd say your females here anywhere from 200 to 300. But uh, the uh, older females, Donna and Basha, they're in their mid 30s. Between the two of them, there just isn't one really clear matriarch. Typically in the wild, that would mean they would split off into different herds. So that's what we've allowed them to do here. So uh, us guys, we kind of joke that they just have different parenting styles because it's true. Uh, Vasha is a very much helicopter mom, whereas Donna is very like, oh, the kids will be fine. You know, Stella's <laughs> rolling in the mud. But. So uh, our young elephants, they are teenagers right now, and they hang out with Mac, our older male elephant, to learn how to be respectful young men elephant. Uh, sometimes they do not do that, though. They're teenage boys. So 13 and 15, Savo and Jabali. And if you ever see two big elephants out here that have their trunks locked or kind of pull them back and forth, I call it elephant arm wrestling. Uh, but it's called sparring. That's a really good behavior to be seeing from young males. So, uh, here. Here's a baby. Coming up okay. this way. Now it's like wait, it's like younger and Adira. It takes a second, so I can tell just because when the two are near each other. But um, most people will do this. But the backside of the safari. Even right up about to there. Yeah, and part of that's part of the survival. Uh, we had. Uh, did anyone see baby zebras today? Yeah. yeah. So cute, right? Other names are Dot and uh, like Princess Dot from Above Slice and Chris. Very very cute, but. Yeah, they're only three weeks old though. They're big. But the moms were out here until a week before they were giving birth. So they can wait for their milk to drop into their otters before they take them off stage. Sub adults are adults, so looking for when they start cycling, when you can start putting them on birth control. 
for elephants, there is no birth control that is strong enough for them. So separation is what we do, a little, a little abstinence with them. But uh, for our other animals, we can do injections or literally mix it in with their food. So it uh, works pretty well for most of them. Although, has anyone been to Cincinnati Zoo before or no. heard about Zoo? There's a very famous hippo there named Fiona. Uh, she was born super premature, but she, and we get samples right from their ears. You can see right here from Luna, they got tons of tiny blood vessels in their ears there. So I mentioned training is a big part of what we do here. They will uh, actually present their ears through the ballers. It's completely voluntary. If they want to walk away, they easily can. And then we can get those samples. We typically do testing like once a week with all of our elephants just to look for any common viruses within elephant herds. That way we can treat it before we see the ears. Yeah. It seems a lot once a week. It does, does seem like a lot. lot. But also these are animals in our care that they can't tell us how they're feeling. And we there's been several times there's this uh it's basically the equivalent of like an elephant herpes virus that elephants, a lot of them already have like dormant and we can see when that starts to spike before there's any symptoms and it can be deadly if it's not stopped. So um, it's something that we've been able to kind of stay ahead of the game, but there's a ton of research going on specifically with that virus with elephants. But, yeah. for the baby zebras they're learning their their the area where they have to stay in they'll be up for probably like another couple of months and then they'll take it down because the, the baby zebras will know that they're not supposed to go past that point look at her Oh, 
she's the one that's pregnant. Over here. <laughs> but if you just listen. Yeah, so uh, Nadira, she's due around the new year, so it really could be any time around there. Mm. Uh, the keeper. So it looks like we nominate different names and then they go up through management and kind of get like a proof by Disney so you can't have like, I don't know, like a weird name or something like that. You can, yeah, so, but. Oh, all the animals. Yeah, every single one of our flamingos has a name. Actually, all the males are named after pirates, and all the females are named after tropical drinks. Oh, no. so, except for uh, one, there's one that has a band that's red, that's 22, and she's Taylor Swift. Oh, so. We have some Swifties on our west be. team, so. Well, yeah, she should be. be so. This is Basha. Yeah, this is she looks like she's getting ready to move. Where do you want me to go? Right there. Okay, one angle towards me. There is a piece of grass in front of her. Of course, anyone else want one? Look at right leg. It looks like she's posing. She's posing for Charlie. Like soaked in, but this morning it was really white. That's pretty amazing. We got three waves on the safari. I mean, they all are a little wrinkly. Alright, so that was our Caring for Giants. What did you think? That was awesome. It was great. We got to see, I think, at least Four. five elephants. Well, yeah. Multiple times. We did. And it was cool seeing it from the backside of the safari because you can see the safari trucks driving by. Yeah. You know, you can wave to them. Yeah. And they can see you. And yeah. uh, you can see the flamingos too. So it's when you see the elephant part on the safari, we're on the other side of that. And it was great. It was shaded. Yeah. It was. Well, it, it was it's really, a hot really nice. day, it's but it was hot, nice. But it was shaded. It was still good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I definitely. Uh, it did uh, not rain. I was happy about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. That was a chance to rain. And the uh, the guide was very knowledgeable. She was good. She yeah. Did a great job. Yeah. We would so, recommend it. Highly definitely, recommend definitely it. Definitely recommend it. Check it out. Yep. See you next time. Don't forget to do your duty. It's a big duty. Bye, guys. <laughs>